Hello, my name is Ben Moses. I'm an integration engineer here at Exact Technologies. Today I'd like to talk about Cantech Intrapass Corporate Edition that comes installed on Exact Vision servers. I'd like to talk about the installation and walk through the configuration steps of that software. So with that in mind, let's get started. Cantech Intrapass Corporate Edition is an access control system that is preloaded onto Exact Vision recorders. The installer resides on the desktop in the Interpass folder. This walkthrough will guide you through the process of installing, configuring, and registering Interpass. An important thing to note is that this copy of Interpass Corporate Edition will be licensed upon installation. However, it will need to be registered by a Cantex certified technician in order to enable the corporate features of this software. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started. Exact Recorders automatically log into their restricted user accounts. To begin installation of Interpass, log out of this user account and log in to the administrator account. The default password for this account is admin256, that's A-D-M-I-N-256. Once logged in, the Exact Vision client may automatically launch full screen. Go ahead and close the Exact Vision client at this time to arrive at the desktop that looks like this. Now double click the Interpass folder on the desktop to open it. Inside you will find another folder which contains the installer for Interpass and a shortcut that we will use later when setting up the Interpass web client. For now, open the Interpass installer folder and launch the setup.exe. You may be prompted with a user access control dialog. If so, click yes. Select your language. Once the install shield wizard appears, click next. Select install server database and server workstation option. Next. When the end user license agreement appears, select I accept the terms of the license agreement and click next. Enter an appropriate username and company name here. Select anyone who uses this computer. Click Next. You may change the install location here. Click Next. Click Install to begin the installation. The installer may determine that other software components need to be installed or updated, such as .NET Framework. Please allow these processes to take place. If you receive an open file security warning, click Run. Again, if you receive an open file security warning, go ahead and click Run. When the installer has finished, select Yes, I want to restart my computer and click Finish. When the system boots back up, you may see a blank blue desktop for several minutes before the exact desktop and the regular icons appear. Please be patient through this process as the restart may take longer than usual. Please pause this video now and resume after the exact recorder restarts. Thank you. When the exact recorder restarts, it will again be logged into the user account. You may also be presented with a series of firewall security alerts. If so, please accept all of them by allowing access. Now, if you are logged into the user account, go ahead and log out of the user account and log into the admin account just as we did in the beginning. 
Once you do, you will notice new icons on the desktop. These icons are Workstation, Server, Gateway, SmartLink, and Interpass Web. All components of Interpass are now installed. The next step is to register this copy of Interpass Corporate Edition. Remember, a Cantex certified technician must perform this part of the process. To do this, launch the Workstation application and log in using the username Cantech and the temporary password that's provided for you and highlighted in yellow. Click the green button. There's the username Cantech. Enter this password. Once logged in, click on the Options tab and the Registration icon. You will now be looking at the Registration dialog box. Now click the button that says Temporary Password in Use, click here to register. Note your system serial number. A Cantech certified technician must perform this registration by providing this serial number to Cantech. Contact information for doing so is provided in the box to the left. Once you have a registration confirmation code, you may enter it in the spaces provided. Now click OK. Click Close. If you're asked to change the connection password, that is not necessary at this time. You can click Cancel. Now click on the X to close Server Workstation. Answer Yes to the prompts when asked if you really want to log out and quit. Now that Interpass is registered, we have full corporate features and Interpass web functions. Now let's look at how to set up Interpass web client on this machine. I want to bring to your attention the Interpass web icon that was generated by the Interpass install. This is normally a shortcut used for setting up Interpass web client. However, on an exact system, this shortcut should not be used. It will not make a proper connection with the Interpass web services. I'll repeat that. The Interpass web shortcut that the installation created on the desktop should not be used. It will not work properly. Instead, use the Interpass web client setup shortcut found within the Interpass folder that we looked at earlier during the first steps of this walkthrough. The Interpass web client setup shortcut icon in this folder is the proper one to use. Open the Interpass folder and launch the Interpass web client setup. A browser will open, prompting for a Microsoft Silverlight install. Click now to install. When prompted by the browser whether to save or run, choose run. If prompted for user access control, click yes. When prompted for Bing search engine default and MSN homepage, you can leave them checked as default or unchecked. It is of no consequence. Click install now. It is recommended that you leave the default selection intact to enable Microsoft updates. Click next.
When the Silverlight install is complete, click Close. A new browser window or tab will automatically open displaying an install prompt for Interpass Web. However, in some cases this may not be automatic. If this does not automatically happen, go ahead and go back to the icon that we launched initially, the Interpass Web Client Setup, and double click it again. Now you will get the prompt to install Interpass Web Client. Go ahead and click Install now. When prompted by a security warning, click Install. After the installation takes place, an Interpass Web login prompt will be displayed. You may log in using the credentials admin, admin256, just as you would on an Exact Vision server. And here you have Interpass Web installed. Now let's close Interpass Web and move on to backup configuration. To configure backup target locations, launch the workstation application. You may now log in using admin, admin256 credentials just as you would on, a, on an Exact Vision server. Once logged in, click Options, Backup Scheduler. By default, the backup location is set for C, Program Files, x86 area. This should be changed to, for example, removable media such as a USB drive, or CD or DVD media, or a network share. To change this setting, click on Specific Folder, and browse to the media of your choice in this case USB drive. Click OK. Now repeat this action for every tab we have up here. In out. And finally video event. There, now my backup targets have all been moved off the C drive. Click OK when complete. Your backup targets have now been configured and you may close the workstation. This concludes the installation and configuration process walkthrough. There is a few housekeeping steps we can take to free up more space on the exact server. For example, the Interpass Web icon that was created by the installer can be deleted. Because this is the Interpass Web icon that we'll use from now on. And the Interpass folder, the installation folder, can also be deleted or moved off of the Exact Vision server to free up just over a gig of space. So I hope you found this installation walkthrough helpful. For more information, visit exact.com.